I'm a writer from a very, very small town. And I want you to know if you're someone who feels like your story will never get told, I'm proof that if you work hard, you'll get there. Um, so I just want to offer you a bit of encouragement. So I'm going to read from a novel in progress called One Man Reservation. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to set it up, and then I'm just going to launch right into it. So, glasses. Um, this book is set in Northern California um, the year after September 11th. Zane Larkin is the protagonist. She's a Ph PhD student in American Studies at a generic university in Colorado. Haven't figured all of that out yet. Her, and her father almost died three days before, and she's coming home. Uh, she thinks she's coming home to say goodbye to him. Um, she thinks she's coming for three days only. He has very different plans for her. Um, she's just finished sexing out marijuana plants. If you don't know what that is, buy my book, you'll figure it out. But it's something you have to do because it is the female plants that have the THC and that's what gets you high. You don't want to put your time and money and effort into the male plants. With me? Okay. <laughs> I did a little research. Um, <laughs> And because her father is ill, she's just worked with his grow partner, Elias, to sex out the plants, because they need to move the plants before the father dies, because in this county, the sheriff is the coroner. So when, he come, when they come to get his body, they can't have those pot plants there, or they're going to lose everything. Um, you need to know that her sister's name is Angela, and the grow partner has just left with the plants, but he's handed Zane a box of $30,000 in cash. And she walks into the room with her, where her father is lying down, and that's where we pick up. She sat next to, to where he lay on his bed, and she put the box of cash at her feet. Elias mentioned the feds. She held her palms together. The game has changed while you've been gone. How long have you been in the game? Little over a year. Don't know why I didn't start sooner. He shook his head, and she saw again how frail he seemed, how there was less of him. You mentioned a balloon payment? She wasn't clear on what this term meant, but she knew the sensation of something growing too large, too overwhelming to keep up. He wedged a second pillow behind his back. October 1st, 100,000. Zane snorted. Now I know you're crazy. You don't have the big picture yet. The next round of indoor will be ready in three and a half weeks. Then after it's groomed, Elias will move it and then presto, our payment. That would be June 5th, so much longer than the three days she thought she would be here. She said, it sounds like you're in over your head. So that makes me think, that so that makes me think you're kidding. As serious as this, he indicated his body with his right, right hand, a gracious gesture, something you might see a music conductor do. When he invited her gaze, she couldn't avoid seeing the way his biceps had atrophied, how this mythic man had become mortal. She sat indoor, that's about as risky as it gets. Don't go lecturing. I've watched these hippies roll in, grow their dope by the land, getting richer every damn year. I spent most of my life trying to make ends meet the legal way, and it only held me back. Those ones with the trust funds, I hate the most. Zane shared that feeling. Having a bank account with only $50 didn't help. She hated being in classes with students who talked about their trust funds and camping trips and skiing on spring breaks while she worked and worked and worked. Campus had crawled with rich kids dressing like hippies, but they lived in the second or third homes their parents had bought for the duration of their child's college, college attendance. She said, Elias left you something. She indicated the box of cash at her feet. You count it. Do I have to do everything around here? She smiled to soften her words. Call it a dying man's wish. He grinned. The crow's feet deepened. The box reeked all the stronger when she grabbed it. She set it on the floor and pulled out the cash bundle. Count it up here. Her father patted the quilt, a cozy gesture, 
wildly at odds with what, with what she was about to do. She slipped the rubber bands off of the money. On the outside, hundreds, closer in twenties. Each bill was grimy, and she consider, considered whose hands might have touched them. Put the hundreds into stacks of tens, the twenties into stacks of fives. His eyes were glassy. She finally got it all laid out as he wanted. Seeing that much cash thrilled and ter terrified her. She had the urge to roll around on it. His right index finger touched each stack and he nodded, all there. You can start making deposits for me now that you're home. Only small amounts at a time. If you put in more than 10,000 in a single tra transaction, it flags those IRS bastards. I don't get it. Grab that. He pointed at the dresser. On it, an old cigar box, a vestige of her youth, a place where the important papers of their lives were squirreled away. Birth certificates, immunization records, report cards. Zane brought it to him. Open it. Inside lay three small bank books. Look. He'd become a master of the command form of verbs. The columns revealed shocking amounts. No wonder, he, no wonder he'd move from the coffee can of pennies to the box of bills. 200,000, 300,000, 120. Three loans each had payments of three grand a month entered again and again, the huge number never changing. Her father must have gambled and stretched and bullshitted his way into getting his name on as many pieces of land as possible. But no headway was being made. She said, is this interest only? Maybe you did learn something. He squinted one eye. A couple of pieces have second mortgages. One piece wasn't enough? Her voice vinegared with ire. What kind of reservation is it for other people if it, uh, oh, sorry, what kind of reservation is it if other people are so damn close? He winced and his russet skin flared redder. I got bad credit, I couldn't get a regular loan. Those are hard money ones, 18, 19%. I guess you aren't messing around. Who lent you this? There's a network of high rollers I got hooked up with. I don't know them all, but the main guy, he's good enough. Good enough to charge you 19% interest? Girl, I'm getting a raw deal here. They denied me my social security because I didn't work for no one but myself. I should be getting disability, medical care. I got payments to the FHA for the cattle which I sold for the earnest money on the first place. He sighed. This cancer has got me backed into a corner. His chest seemed caved in by all he just said. How many pieces of land is this? Is any of it paid for? Seven parcels, almost a thousand acres. His face lit up with a smile. Nothing is paid for. That's why we got to get through this growing season. We can untangle the knots. You might be one greedy cuss, but I'm your greedy cuss. And this land, when it's, once it's paid for, it's ours, as long as the grass is green and the rivers flow. She said, you quote in treaty language here? I'm just reminding you of this country's history. Dad, this is a mess. Just help me get through this first hurdle and then we'll figure out the next one. He leaned his head back against the wall. He sucked in air through his teeth. What's wrong? She put a hand on his arm. I'm just hurting. It's like a knife, twisting. He closed his eyes. Is it time for morphine? He nodded and indicated the bottle on the tray by his bed. She undid the top and saw this was also the dropper for the liquid. The notebook by, the, by it read 10 milligrams, so that's what she measured out. Here you go, Pops. He opened his mouth, but not his eyes, and he, she squeezed the morphine in. The smallness and, de and dependency of baby birds came to mind. This man needed so much help. She replaced the lid and noted the time and dosage. This is not what she thought she'd be doing. She studied him, his black hair, his sharp nose. Near his feet, the separated bills of cash sat in rows, a little ar army of opportunity and of trouble. The sound of an engine cut the quiet. The dogs began their hellish frenzy. He snapped his fingers. Hide this under the bed until Angela leaves. With quick sweeps of her hands, Zane ga gathered the money, money and shoved it all, a confusion of temporary riches, into the box and slid it out of sight.